start streaming. Do 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 do. It's back up here. Receiving data. Okay, let's just check that everything's coming through. If I can hear myself, then it's working. That's good. I am ditching the earplugs because uh, it doesn't quite coincide with the video, so I'm better off not to have it. So now that I know it's working, I'm just going to take it out. <laughs> That is certainly my intention anyway. And make sure I set it to public. She's good. She's saved. And we are going to be on. Certainly I hope so. Should change to public in a second. Live. Come on you. All saves chain. Come on. Kick it up. Make it work. It is now streaming. Okay, good. We're in business. Cool. Well, I'm not going to really wait for anything. I'm just going to get started. And um, this is really just me trying to relax. So throw out questions, chat with me if you like. I'm just going to paint this miniature. Or well, certainly I'm going to attempt to. I'll do my usual intro, I guess. And I'm probably not going for more than an hour. If it gets more than an hour, then I'll break this into a, another session. Hi, welcome to How to D&D. My name is Fred Wheeler, and today we're going to paint a, a miniature. It's the Gorth. Um, it's basically a specter or spectator. It's, um, it's the little beholder that you find in the monster manual. And you can find this particular miniature in the Wrath for Shardalon board game. And I've got it because I've had the board game for a while. Um, as most of you know, I've done a few videos on that particular topic. So what I've done is essentially just painted it black. I attempted trying to paint this last time, but the humidity in the air was so bad uh, that nothing would dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some more black paint over it. I'm going to use green, give that as it's a base color, it's going to be green. And then I'll do a little few highlights um, eventually probably actually before eventually but then I'm going to go with flesh color for the, the some of the mouth area around the gum um, the eyeballs then I'll use some white and white on the teeth uh, same with the main um, same with the uh, the middle eye and the base section looks like rock so I'm going to use tan for that um, all of the paints and stuff that I'm using I mean really this is just a, a container from a a vitamin bottle that's that's all it is nothing else a bit of blue tag stuck on there um, got that from the two dollar shop um, the paints that I'm using they're all supposed to be pretty good um, uh, Valijo Valijo so yeah it's a little squirty bottle so real kind of cool actually so I'm gonna get started um, as I said I'm just gonna do this and if you guys have questions things you want to ask me uh, by all means throw them out there it doesn't really matter what it is or if you don't want to talk and you're just painting and you just want somebody to hang out with I'll do that as well but um, I won't actually go out of my way to do a, a lot of talking unless people want me to okay
I feel like this would have been a good time to bring my glasses. My glasses aren't very good at seeing really cl small things up close, the more distance glasses, but I feel like that would have been a sensible thing to do at this present time. Anyway, it's too late now. I'll make sure I bring them with me next time. So I'm not exactly mucking around, I'm just trying to get the black paint on and I'm being quite quick about it. Okay, I should have brought a blow dryer. I was told I should. Alright, some tan. What is this called? This is called Tan Earth. Oh, got a shake. I forgot about that. Give him a shake. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. things in the background that's because there are things in the background someone's having a good time don't know if you can hear that motorbike in the background but um I know I can. That's the first coat. I think I'm going to have to put the tan over a few times because it doesn't look like it's um, spreading very well. It's alright though, no, I'll try it again. Eventually it'll, uh, it'll come off. Next time I'll make sure I bring that air, um, that blow dryer. Alright. I'm going to probably have to do this in a couple of coats to build up enough colour. If you are showing up for a master class, I'm going to say it now, I am not a master. 
my brother is. He's certainly very good at this sort of thing. I spent so much time trying to convince him to actually stream his stuff, put it up on YouTube. No, doesn't do it. Never mind. Everybody's rather quiet. I feel like I might actually be alone. All right, so let's grab this green. I've only got one green, and it's that um, that camo luft wuft camo green. Bit of shake. I'll have to get a couple more colours. Uh, do I really want a brush that is as small as that? I think we're going to apply it as fast as I can. I'll use that thing. Okay. Hi Brian, how's it going? Thank you, Brian, for saying hello because I was feeling alone. I was feeling like I might might actually be talking to myself. I do it so often anyway, but uh, I should be used to it by now. Okay. So I, uh, I feel like I should have brought something else with me, but it's not here. What I'm going to do is not worry about it and just get the paint on. In the big, broad areas. Had an interesting um, comment. Somebody was saying why I couldn't, why couldn't I edit the um, live stream videos? And I've been reluctant to do so uh, because YouTube really it messes it up every time I do a trim on them. YouTube seems to release something that's got a whole lot of problems with the sync and the and the sound, and uh, they don't take out the right part of the video, and it just turns into a giant mess. And I've been reluctant to even bother using the trim tool and the enhancement tools on YouTube for that very reason. Um, but I think what I'll do in the future with the live streams, maybe not so much the painting ones because <laughs> they are really long. But if I do live stream um, and I can do it, I think what I'll do, particularly if I'm talking where it needs to be a bit more succinct and people don't want to spend like forever trying to figure out what I'm saying, I will leave the live stream, the original live stream up, and then I will do a download of it. Uh, play with it on my computer, um, edit it down, and then re-release it as an edited form. So there'll be two videos released. One is the raw, and one is the non-raw that I've touched up so that uh, YouTube can't mess things up. And hopefully that will keep everybody happy. Yeah, uh, I, Brian, I... I, I, I hear your pain, but yeah, literally what I will do is I, will, I won't try to use the trim tool um, and, and the uh, enhancement tools with YouTube because they are a mess right now. And I will just take the raw footage, download it, leave the original up. So if people want to watch it and don't mind having to troll through all of the, uh, the blubber, they can. And then essentially I will upload later, later date or a later time. The edited version so that you guys can get um, something a bit shorter I, you know I know my channel is always supposed to be a uh, so quick quick videos quick quick get it done out of the way move on because the black I mean the black and the green it's I suppose you can't even necessarily see I will bring this a little bit closer once I've done this so you can see what's going on um, but yeah, it would be hard to make out the green, I imagine, from here. Brian, I'm glad that you think it's a good plan. I was, it was, it was been preying on my mind for some time, and it was actually funny when the, and I can't remember who it was who put it up the, uh, the comment, but I was actually thinking I should just download the, the raw footage and just play around with it on, uh, and edit it down into a smaller, uh, more concise version. So that I don't have to worry about um, any problems with sound or video getting messed up. Well, 
Okay. For those of you who are wondering what the heck am I doing? I'm just trying to get the paint on actually. To be honest. It's such a dark colour. I think I'm going to have to lighten the paint up just a little bit so you can actually see the green. Alright, so I got underneath there, got underneath there, down the bottom of the jaw. Okay, so I'll just let that dry a bit. I'll bring it a little bit closer. Hopefully I get it in the right place. I don't know in terms of where I position it. Maybe you'll be able to see it, maybe you won't. Depends on where I've got it lined up for you, right? Uh, have I got it close enough? I'll drop it down a little bit. A little bit closer. So yeah, you can see, you can only just make out the colour on it. So I've got to do this a few times, a few layers before the colour comes out. And also I've got to wait for a little bit of drying time in between. It's mostly dry. Okay, let's try that again. Hi Crypt, how's it going? How are you doing? How is your day? Or is it night or morning or something like that? Yeah, for those of you who are worried that you won't see videos and it's all going to be live stream painting and making models, well I can tell you now that's not the case. I just needed a bit of stress relief. Navigating the government can be very complicated sometimes. Who we got here? Uh, what's it? Crypt? Um, it's good. I'm preparing for my next DM on Friday. All right. That's the way. I probably won't be running any games for a little while. I'm going to take a break. Let my mind decompress. Also, too, this time of year, it's actually quite difficult to get everybody who, you know, able to show up at the game table. They've all got work and the family commitments and holiday time so keeping the gang together a little bit tricky and um, getting it more tricky with the Friday ga ga game than I have to say with the Tuesday game I think the Tuesday game will be all right but uh, I think the Friday game is going to be a little bit it's gonna be a little while before that comes back I was um, Looking at, uh, I can't remember who requested it, but they had asked me to do pros and cons of homebrew campaigns and games. And I mean, I've done homebrew, uh, actually I'm still doing homebrew as it happens, um, although I don't want my players to necessarily know how much, <laughs> how much is homebrew, um, and in fact how much is, is uh, created on the fly either. Um, but I thought what I would do is I'd do a video on the pros and cons of using homebrew since that was requested. It probably won't be a live stream. I will pre-record it all so I get everything set up right and it feels good and I don't look like a complete idiot or anything like that. We wouldn't want that. Okay, alright. So I think... It is actually starting to look pretty green now. I feel like that's um, my even my poor eyes are noticing that, that, that there's green there. 
rather than no green. I'll bring it a little bit closer so you can see. I'm blowing it while I'm doing that. Yeah, that's basically it. It's de definitely greener. I think it's time to go lighter though. Alright, so I've got a little bit of green in there already. I'm just, hmm, do I go yellow? Do I want a yellow green or do I want a whitish green? We'll go with the white and see how that goes. I'm not, it's not like I'm hugely particular about anything. Alright, here we go. Let's see if this works. That's certainly a change in, in tone. Let's try that and see see if um, it looks all right. Actually, I feel like that's pretty close to the color I was aiming for anyway. It's just the, the brush is now really wet. I'm going to just let that sort of sit there a little bit and um, dry the brush out a bit. Now I'm blowing on the brush. I was blowing on the miniature, now I'm blowing on the brush. I haven't decided exactly what I'm doing, right? <laughs> Alright, let's just see. Hmm. There was quite a bit of paint coming off. Let's try it out. Do it on the back end because the back side's not really going to be too much of an issue. And I feel like I'm definitely going to go go for getting some washes at some point. We used to use inks. And I remember using inks. Okay. Alright, I'm going to just brush off some of that paint off. Just a little bit of it. actually like a lot less paint on there so I'm thinking now that I've done that and made my fingers all colored I'm gonna grab a different brush just for now uh, it's not the one I want where is it it was here a second ago oh, there it is that's the one let them do anything let's try it again still didn't do anything let's try that again now it's all drawn up okay ha 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 gotcha yes it's working now working Oh, good. I can tidy up anything that sort of, if I overpaint, I'll just tidy it up later. I've got to get some of these uh, miniatures um, primed so I can start painting the rest of them. I feel like 
painting these miniatures, this is the time of the year for doing it. It's like holiday time coming up. I actually get to do very little of anything, hopefully, for about three weeks before I've got to start thinking about the realities of income. Um, and in a couple of days I'll stop looking for work because that'll just torture me if I try to do that over Christmas. Okay. I don't know, I think, um, hopefully you guys can see the change in the colour. I know I have noticed it. I'll bring it a little closer in a second. I just want to get a little... The paint's drying real fast. It's, um, it's very warm here in New Zealand right now. And as a result, everything is just drying out real quick. Uh, Crypt, what's that? Uh, do you use a clay mould to create the structure of it? Now this is, this, this is not my miniature. Um, I'm just painting it. I, I actually bought it. It cam, comes in the Wrath of a Shardalon board game. I've got a whole bunch of miniatures I need to paint. I just haven't got around to do them, doing them. And I thought, well, I would paint this one. And uh, I will get around to priming the Oculo Swarm and my Grey Ooze and painting those as well. But I thought, well, since this is primed and ready to go and I had a little bit of paint on it already, it was a good idea to do it now. Hence, that's what we're doing. Um, okay, let's just have a look. Right, so I'll bring this a little bit closer so you can see. Yep, bring it a little bit closer. Hopefully it's in the right part of the screen so you can see what's going on. It's a little bit lighter than it was before. There's still some shadows on it. And um, I'll take another color, sort of drop down the green a little bit more and make it a little bit lighter. Anyway, uh, green paint. Let's do this again. Not too much. And is there any white paint still dry in here? <laughs> Probably not. It's a good thing I don't put too much in, right? Okay. Now if you're wondering why I'm not mixing it with the big brush, because I don't want the big brush to have water on it. If the big brush gets water on it, then it'll be, it'll be harder to put it on. Okay. Uh, it's, I think it needs to be slightly lighter. Let's do that again. Over here, there we go. Okay, right, cool. Let's try that out. One brush. on the tips and brush it on again come on you last time I had problems with the paint not drying now the paint is really it's drying super fast I'm going to be so quick getting the paint on otherwise it's just not going to work need like a retardant or something uh, something to slow the paint drying process okay let's try this lighter color before that dries as well on the back
actually like the bottom of it. It's just not got enough green. It doesn't feel green enough. There we go. That's getting better. I apologize if the mic is picking up every little movement that I do in the brush strokes as well. I'm surprised at just how sensitive it is. Okay. Actually, that's not too bad. I like that. That's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Stick with that. Uh, just okay. Clean that off. I won't be using that brush for a while. I'll need that to dry. I should have a go at making an upper holder. I mean, how hard could it be? I've got plenty of beholders in my collection, but um, it's the really big one, you know, like a really massive one that scare the players with, that would be nice. I mean, I've got a fairly large one. I think it's like a huge size base, but I feel like something even larger than that, just sh you know, sheer terror is what we're after. <laughs> okay. And just make sure, last little check to make sure a little bit's done. I feel like that's pretty much covered where I needed to be, apart from maybe just there. Just a little bit more on the bottom half of them. Maybe just underneath. Just there. Okay. All right. Let's clean that brush. Okay. Well, I'll show you quickly where where I'm at so far. So the base colors are on. Um, I feel like I need to put a bit more tan or brown on the base section but I, I'm not going to do that right now instead I'm just going to move on and start dealing with the flesh color where the eyes are and the mouth section we're just it's not going inside it's going to be going around the outside so let's try that out now where's that flesh color flesh flat flesh oh check it check it check it you know one of the things that's very tempting I wonder if you wind up singing a copyrighted song during your live stream, um, would you get pinged? I think that's possible actually. So I'll have to be careful. I'll just have to hum. <laughs> that was more than I was expecting. <laughs> oh, darn. That was a, that was a lot more. <laughs> um, whoops. Okay, so that brush is just not going to be good enough for this job, so we're going to go with something else. Um, what is this? This is a 5, and that is a... Does it give me a size on it? It does not give me a size on it. All right, it looks pretty small. Hopefully it's small enough. Okay, all right, look, I'm going to have to, this flesh is going to take like a couple of um, shots, I think. Um, let's try it and see if it works. Otherwise, I might go back to another color first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is going to work well. Uh, 
don't think I don't think anything's coming off. No. Yeah, I could be here forever. Okay, so that's that's a bust on that idea. All right, so light color need to get it back to the flesh color. So you go with either a black or a white. I would say white. I would say white. I think that's the, the solution. So I'll put some white on, then I'll go back to the flesh. <clears throat> Done. Do, do, do. Okay. Yeah, the white covers better. Oh, now I've got to get. What I wouldn't give for a steady hand. It's a bit much paint. If you want to see somebody who does really good paint jobs, um, Blanco's got a YouTube channel and he, he's right into miniatures, he does lots of miniature videos and he does lots of painting and he usually ch shows you all of his work. I think just recently I saw him with a an Umber Hulk, that new miniature line and uh, it looked awesome. Okay, one, two, three, four, five eyes, one more to go, and then the big one. Yep, that's got it. Be careful here. It's just at that moment that you've got to be 
dead steady and your hand just shakes and shakes and shakes. There we go. Alright, so next, um, I want to get the flesh around the mouth. So I guess I need to have white running just along there a little bit. So the flesh will come out. Come back to the teeth later. Hi Josh. I don't know about it looks great. It might at the end, but thank you for saying so. Man, hasn't it been a long journey? If those of you who have been watching my channel for a while, finally gone from using the, the my phone camera to the web camera, and the web camera is a big improvement. Huge light years. And a microphone, so I can actually talk to you without leaning forward and doing sorts of weird things with my body. Come on, get in there. A little bit more. Right, okay. Right, that's the white where I need it to be. And mm, I feel like if I wash this out, that flesh is just going to go weird on me, but we'll see how we go. If I can get it dry enough. Squeeze out all the moisture. Squeeze it all out. Oh. All right, I suppose I should bring it a bit closer so you can see where I'm at so far with this thing. That's sort of basically all it's all I'm doing is prepping to put the flesh color on the eyes and the mouth around the the gum area. All right, let's see if this will work this time. Uh, I feel like that's just not drying enough. It's still very, very runny. Man, I'd have to coat this thing with this flesh like a gazillion times to get anywhere by the looks. All right, I'm going to say it now. If you buy these paints and decide to get the flat flesh, although it looks like the, the right colour, you've, you've definitely got to apply a lot of it, or get a different colour. <laughs> Maybe if I just get the, the paint on, go over it a couple of times. I think I'm being slightly too ambitious trying to go with the flesh colour around here, but... Alright, that's another one. Okay, and then that centre eye. Don't worry about the center eye, I'm going to go back over it with white again. I just want to get the fleshy look on the outside of it. So you don't have to really worry about the middle of the eye, you're just trying to deal with the outside of the eye. Okay, now around the, the gum area. This stuff up here, it dries a bit. There we go.
if I'm putting my big um, hand in the way, you let me know, guys. Sometimes I just sort of, it's just a hard angle. <clears throat> well, that's one layer. Let's try another layer and see if that helps. Hi Craig, how's it going? You know Craig, I spent a lot of day and time today trying to figure out if I could find some way of making intros um, myself. Trying to learn that next step. What I've learned is there's a lot of software out there trying to get you to pay for somebody else to do it for you. <laughs> you think you found a tool that allows you to do it? And nope. I think I'm just going to stick with um, shooting a few static photos and then combining them into sort of like a shuffling, I don't know, slideshow. And uh, that will be that. Not that I'm not going to use your, your, your <laughs> not that I'm going to use you. I'm not going to use your um, intros because I most certainly will be using your intros. Just trying to learn a little bit more of it, and I've got some sort of seminar called Landmark today. It's supposed to help me figure out what to do with myself find myself, solve a problem. Apparently I'm supposed to bring a problem with me. I feel like that won't be very hard. <laughs> I feel... Okay, good. Get some more of that paint off there. Cool. It is actually working. It's just going to take more than one or two applications to make the, the flesh sort of stand out a little bit. The question is, will my hand hold up to the, the shaking? Okay, alright, let's do the next bit. That's the main eye. Yeah, thanks, Craig. I appreciate all the help. I really do. Have you guys had a chance to have a look at that um, video on um, How to D&D Facebook group page or group? I've, I've got a couple of responses, but uh, most of them seem to be for the group so far. But um, I thought I would leave it a little while, just give people time and opportunity to tell me what they like. Group for you, eh, Craig? Yeah. I was looking at the options and there's like a whole bunch of files that I could upload and he can't do it on a page apparently. And then my brother was saying, ah, but your page can have a shop. And I was like, yeah, but what am I going to sell? <laughs> I was like, yeah, but I don't have a shop. It doesn't matter. Oh, huh. all right. Not too bad. I feel like that's an improvement. Where are we at? We are... Well... Yep. 
I could do it again. I could go over one more time. I could. I will. I shouldn't, but I will. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I found that with the, particularly with the Dungeons and Dragons NZ group. Um, it was a, it was a real hassle trying to keep um, the Kickstarters out of that group because everybody wanted to join it um, and sell their products, which I can understand. But that particular group is, it's yeah, it's, it's absolutely definitely easier to moderate a group over a page. And I can assign people to do that. Since I did it with the other group, I, I see no problem with doing it again. The great thing is it wouldn't be restricted to people from New Zealand. It means anybody in the world. And uh, I can put photos up there. I've got a Google Plus website, but I, the Google Plus is like a dead platform, if you ask me. <laughs> it, who goes to Google Plus and Plan Plus, really? I don't think I've had much traffic through it at all. Whereas Facebook, plenty of traffic coming through there. And I can put images, I've got a bunch of photos, files. You can have a decent conversation. I can chuck my videos up there as well. And I can do it every single day without getting um, hassled by a f whatever Facebook group is um, out there. Which is totally understandable. You don't want everybody chucking their videos up there every single day. But uh, yeah, if it's dedicated to the channel, it doesn't matter. Okay, alright. That's better. And once more time round the gum. Okay, cool. Got far too much flesh out, but hey, it's too late now. All right, stop rolling. All right. Let's see how much I can done in eight minutes. Uh, okay, where's the white? It's probably as hard as uh, yeah. No, 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 no. Awesome. Oh, and it's sort of slightly dry, so that might actually be helpful. Blowing slightly, blowing slightly, and it's not too bad. Okay, so mm, this is. I feel like add too much water, and it's just going to be a problem. Okay, still not enough. It's just too, it's too gluggy. It's not going to work. I'm going to have to put some more out. Where is it? Um, yeah, progress so far, essentially. Flesh is on. Do the little white bits, then put the little eye dots in there, and uh, yeah. Go. 
How's it going, Craig? Uh, was this Craig? Um, have you looked into Adobe CC? Um, I have looked at Adobe CC, but the thing is that uh, that's expensive, and uh, I don't really make enough money right now to be able to afford any major expenses. My big major expense just recently is this webcam and the microphone, and I I really can't go and spend money on anything else. Um, not until uh, not until I've got myself sorted out anyway. Maybe later on though. Oh, I feel like the desk is helpful. Put my wrist on it. Now I'm not trying to paint the entire section white. What I'm trying to do is sort of build up the most of the eye but leave a little bit of the flesh on the outside of it. It's not like any sort of special technique or anything, it's just what I saw in my picture. In the monster manual I thought, well I can pretty much copy that, it's not too many colours to deal with. Seems reasonably basic. Yeah, that's cool. Um, clean the brush off again. Not too much water, too much water. Okay, Let's try that again. Yeah, yep, okay, all right. So the white is in, um, and I think it, I'm just gonna do the teeth next. Paint some teeth. Uh, what's that crypt? Um, what campaign module has a beholder in it? Oh, uh, well, the Lost Mine of Fandelva has a spectator, which is essentially this creature, or it's Garth is just like a little beholder and a spectator is a little beholder so yeah um, any other adventures that have beholders in them mm, yes there is uh, if you were to look in something like Revenge of the Giants but I don't think it's a fifth yet edition it's fourth yet edition And just bear with me while I just clean the brush off again because the paint's drying on. Uh, what's that, Craig? Um, I gotta go. Have a good Christmas. Hit me up if you need anything or want just to hang and talk shop. I definitely will want to talk talk shop at some point. Uh, but you have a good Christmas, and I will I will uh, chat with you some other time. I'll see you later, man.
Oh, she's getting fiddly. And you don't really need to worry about there being a beholder in a pre-made adventure. If it doesn't have one, just chuck one in there somewhere where it seems suitable. Beholders like uh, having domination over an area, so the chances are that, you know, you can substitute them for anything. Let's uh, see if I can get the, the bottom half done. Huh. Yeah, the um, the moulding here is not fantastic, so it's going to be hard to pick it up. Huh. No, that's not working. Let's try it again. A bit much. Too much paint. Now it just looks like a horrible blob in the middle there. Ugh! Frustrating. Hmm. Okay. Can I fix it? not doing anything it's because it's dry definitely dry it's a bit more black uh, what's that Brian uh, didn't they had a beholder if you remember correctly I actually hit it it probably did I didn't play all the way through um, didn't they I only played one session and I after that I, I felt great pity for the dungeon master who had to run that massive dungeon uh, and it's not just a massive dungeon, it's, you know, it's it's got locked areas. You can't get into certain locations unless you have a special key or something. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I've looked at it briefly when I did a review on, what is it, uh, Tales from the Yawning Portal? Okay, all right, well, it's, I can kind of fix that now. All right, so I've got some black, and I've got some white in certain locations, and I'm feeling like I should chuck more white on, so I will. We are now running two minutes later than I expected. <laughs> oh, okay. White, white. Yep, that'll do. Good. <laughs> um, oh, what's this? Uh, sorry, uh, Brian, what have you got here? Matthew Colville has a site called Adventures Lookup that lets you search for monsters or locations and modules. Yes, that's right, he does, doesn't he, Brian? I forgot about that. Yeah, check that out. I'm 
that's good enough. And then try to sort out the teeth that got messed up last time. Okay. Yep, that'll that'll cover it. Okay, so next, let's get the eyeball in. Dry that little brush out. Armel must have known something when he handed me this brush. <laughs> he must have known something. Okay. So a dot. Um, I feel like, uh, yes, it's more like a line, isn't it? Oh, I can just see this. This is going to be really tricky. Ha! Yeah. Here's one. Let's try that again. Good enough. And this one here. Oh, it's just, this is the problem of little eyes. Because it's not like a little dot. Now, there's no way I'll be able to do anything more than that if I try to get too fancy and trying to be would have been able to do that in the past, but not now. Good enough, and keep going. Okay, good. Oh. Trying to get it wide in the center of the eye and then long at the ends and thinner. Oh, my. Okay, that's not working anymore. So that's. Uh so I'll give you a quick look. So some of my eyes have come out all right, and some of them not so great. Uh, but yeah, it's sort of like a sort of like a slit, like a like a snake's eye. If that makes sense. Okay, a bit more black. Do do do. Yep, yeah, do. And. Do your thing. Yep. Leaving it. Moving on. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> Too much. Um, okay, so center eye. I feel like that's going to be very, very hard to pick out. Um, actually, I think with that eye, 
I'm just looking here now. Just looking here now, I think that needs something slightly different. Um, because the center should be more of an eyeball, and then it should be a colored eye around there. So what I will do is I pick a color, I guess, and that will be my color for my eye. And I think because it's light color, we'll go with tan. And then I'll go back to the center with the white, and that should do it. Yeah, they probably won't. You're quite right. Although I think sometimes some do, but um, <laughs> no, no, no tan there. I'll just give it a shake. There we go. There's the color, and And essentially you could do the eye, the eye any color you like could be blue could be green although I think green eyeball and green um, um, Garth is probably not going to work very well okay there's another color there I can go back to white again and is there white still that's not hardened yet. Let's get that on. I need a round. That's about as round as I'm going to get. And a little bit of white there, that is too. Hang on. Okay, so um, green is all but dried up. So, what we do, we can not really fix that right now. And I don't think I've got time to try and soften up any paint to make it work. Okay, I'll come back to it some of the time. All right, let's get the eyeball in which is more like a slit, like a line, like a line. Here we go. Oh, it's dry again. Okay. <laughs> cool, done. Now for those of you who are wondering, will I be editing this thing down, an hour video, trimming down an hour video, downloading and trimming, no, no, this will be in its raw form, um, boots and all, but yeah, any other videos where I do a lot of talking and it's important. I feel like I just went just fractionally too high. This is the problem of eyes, you can fiddle with them forever. Oh, okay, where are we going to go? We're going to attack it from what angle? Yeah, that'll do. So obviously I would go over this with uh, a wash or some ink, but I don't have time right now. But I will show you what I've done so far, and um, maybe I'll come back and we'll tidy it all up and finish it completely, but I've run out of time. 
So I'll just bring this as close as I can. Just bear with me while I make sure that I've got it in the frame. Um, it just takes a little while for the camera to catch up with what I'm actually doing. So I don't know necessarily where I'm holding it. I'll drop it down a little bit. So, and it also takes time to focus. And uh, yeah, that's essentially what you can see. Um, I'll do a decent sort of photo of it sometime. And uh, yeah, you'll be able to get a better idea of it. It's not finished, I'll come back, like I said, and we'll do another, another session, finish it off. I'll mark this as part one or something. And hopefully part two will be nice and swift. Because all I've got to do is wash the thing. Okay, that's it. So I'm going to shut down this live stream. And um, I guess, I suppose I should say my normal thing, eh? That's the, if you like this video, please share, like, and subscribe if you haven't done already. Although I would imagine if you're watching this, you're probably already subscribed because nobody else would actually uh, usually click on to something like this. Um, <laughs> if you have any questions about uh, anything that I've done today, just chuck them in the comments and uh, yeah, I'll answer those questions. And like I said, I'll, in the description I'll put all of the paints and the gear that I've been using. And most of the stuff is not uh, like super hard to find. My brother swears by um, purchasing these paints online. Um, I don't know exactly from whom. But he did, he did say that it's vastly cheaper than buying it from a game store. Uh, but if you want to support your game stores, that's fine too. But I will provide you with a link so you can get to them. And um, yeah, hey, till next time. Keep rolling a 20-sided dice. Because if you're not rolling a 20-sided dice, you're probably not playing Dungeons & Dragons. Now, where is this, uh, this little thing I'm supposed to shut down? Here it is.